Hey guys, this is Mike from Jackson's Toy Box here, and uh, today we're going to show you how, uh, Xbox. I guess it's a glitch because I can't do it on the uh, PC on the Mac version of the game. But what we're showing you here is how to see underground, see all the caves without necessarily digging them up. So I'm going to show you how to do this technique. Uh, but before we get started, I just want to let you know that again at Jackson's Toy Box, we make simple videos about Minecraft to try to help you play the game better. If there's a video you want us to make for you, please. Uh, let us know. Put a comment in the comment section. Tell us your name and what video you want us to make, and we'll, we'll certainly try to make it for you if we can. Um, and just give us a little bit of time, and we'll certainly try to do it for you. If there's something that you can see that, that you want to add to the conversation, we invite you to please um, you know, put that in the comments as well, too, because we're not experts. We like to learn just like you. So I'm looking right... I'm, I'm actually below the ground right now. I'm using this glitch, and I'm actually able to see above ground and below ground, and I can see all the different cave systems. So now I'm going to show you how to do it, okay? Now this works both in survival and creative mode as well, too. And let me just go ahead and uh, let's see here. I'm just going to change my view so you can see. I was going to try to show you, see if you could see me under the ground, but I guess that's a little difficult to do. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and try to get out of here. Okay, so um, let's show you how to do this here now, okay? now. This is just one way of doing it. There's other ways to do it as well, too. But you are going to need some glowstones, at least one glowstone, okay? And then you need at least one ender pearl. I would say probably getting two to three ender pearls is going to be good because, and also a couple different glowstones, just because uh, sometimes it doesn't work on the very first try, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and show you how to do it. So basically what you want to do, and you can do this from underground, you can do this from above ground, it doesn't really matter where you're at, okay? But you want to dig down, and you want to dig down at least three. You can also dig down more if you want to as well, too. And then you want to get yourself to fall in the cave here. There we go. And then once you're down at least three, go ahead and take one of your glowstones and put it up there. And now you take one of your ender pearls and you throw it. Okay, that's what I said. See how it didn't work on the very first attempt? Try again. Okay, now. Oh, I'm a little bit closer. Okay, actually, let me try to move the glowstone one level closer to me, and now try with the ender pearl. It's just not. Okay, there we go. I think I caught it. Yep, I did. Okay, see how I said it takes a little bit of time. So obviously, it's much easier to do this in creative mode, where you get a chance to be able to, you know, have as many ender pearls and glowstones as you want. But I will show you survival mode just to. Uh, show that it does work there as well too. So you can see we're now able to look at all the different cave systems. We can see where lava is at, you know, down below us. We can see if there was any kind of dungeons around here or if the end portal was around here, we'd be able to see that as well too. Now, this is actually just a nearby cave so we can kind of look into it. And look, you can see that a zombie is there as well too. And so, obviously, it's very useful for you to be able to do this on the Xbox because you're able to find out where you want to dig and go closer to those locations instead of just wasting your time. So, um, now we're above ground again. And see, see how that was the glowstone that I was actually using? So, very interesting, right? Okay, let's now... Um, actually, let's go ahead and switch to survival mode so that I can show you that it does, uh, that it does work, obviously, in survival mode. In the Xbox, you do have to uh, go. You can't just switch very easily on the Xbox uh, like you can on the Mac, where you could just type a command and switch from survival to creative. And if you don't know how to do that, we have another um, video about that as well too, where we can show you um, how to switch um, from um, you know creative to survival to adventure mode, uh, all on the. Um, all on the Mac without ever having to leave the game. Now here I've got to leave the game and go back in. I think this was the game that I was playing. Here, let me switch it to survival mode. Hopefully it is. See, this is where you switch to survival mode and adventure mode on the on the uh, on the Xbox, which I'm sure you probably knew. All right, let's go back in and let's see if we can't do this in the survival mode for you, just to show you that it does work in both in both formats. Of course, we may have a problem because uh, we're going back in where the mobs are waiting for us at night. And, uh, okay, here we are. So, we're on survival mode. We've got an ender pearl. We actually have a, uh, we actually have our um, uh, glowstone right there. And let's go ahead and throw one of the ender pearls. Didn't get us quite yet. Did we get it? Not quite yet. 
There we go. Okay, we, we tripped it. You see? And look, we're actually... I must have chosen actually a different game because this is a different uh, view on the bottom. You can see we were real close to a villager. And look, now look at all the cave systems that we can see right here. So there is a lot going on in this area here. And I don't see... There's a cave that we built right here. We built some of these uh, caverns that go all the way down. But there's some lava down there. I don't see the end portal around here. If you guys see it, put a comment down below. My eyes aren't that great. Um, don't necessarily see any specific dungeons, but you can continue to utilize this technique in order to be able to find these other locations that you're interested in going. But look at this massive cave system that's over here, uh, not very far away. Now look at the slimes up there. Do you see those slimes? Isn't that interesting? Is there anybody right? Oh, there's a zombie right above us. So he certainly won't. he's trying to get down to us, isn't he? So I thought this, I thought this glitch was pretty neat. Um, I read about it in a forum online. I don't remember who uh, came up with the idea. It's not my idea. So if it's your idea, please put that in the comment section. We certainly want to thank you. Uh, but hopefully uh, you enjoyed uh, watching this video. And like I said, if you enjoyed it, please um, you know put a comment down below. Maybe give it a thumbs up or share it if you can. That really would help us as well, too. We'll talk to you next time. Have a good one. Bye.